Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to Cooking with Claire. If you're new here, my name is Clarissa and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Tuscan chicken. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so here I have about a pound and a half of chicken tenderloins. And to this you want to add some oregano, onion powder, some garlic, some salt, and some black pepper. Now you want to mix this up. Now that this is mixed up, we're gonna take this over to the stove to fry up. Okay guys, so I have a pan heating up on medium heat. And to this, I'm just gonna add some olive oil on my pan. Now I'm gonna put my tenderloins in to brown. So before you cook your tenderloins, you wanna make sure that you take that tendon out of your tenderloins. Now you wanna let these cook until they brown up. Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and flip our chicken over. As you can see, they have a nice golden brown color to them. Now we're gonna let this side cook up for a few minutes until it's golden brown. Okay guys, so our other side is nice and golden brown, like this. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out. So I have a plate that I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking up the rest of my chicken and I'll be back to let you guys see what happens next. No. Okay guys, so I just took out the last bit of my chicken. So I'm gonna go in with about a tablespoon and a half of butter. And you wanna let that melt down. And to this you wanna add Four cloves of garlic. Now you want to add in a cup and a half of tomato. Oops, lost one. And let that cook down. Now to this, you wanna add about three cups of fresh spinach. And three cups may sound like a lot, but it's really not because it's really gonna melt down. Now that our spinach has melted down, I'm gonna go in with a cup and a half of cream. That's already looking so pretty with the vibrant colors of the, of the red and the green. Looks very pretty. 
So you want to wait for your cream to come to a slight simmer before you add in your Parmesan cheese. All right, now that our cream has begun to simmer, I'm going to go in with a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now I'm going to turn our flame down low. I'm just going to add some more salt to this. Okay guys, now that our sauce has cooked down and thickened up a lot, I'm just going to go back in and add my chicken in. And just nestle the pieces in the sauce like this. And you want to go ahead and pour the juices from that plate back into the pan. Now I'm going to put a top on this and let this cook for about 20 minutes on low heat. Alright guys, so it's been about 20 minutes and this is done. So you can see that our sauce has really thickened up a lot. And it's going to continue to thicken up as it cools down. So I'm just going to turn our fire off and let this cool down for a little bit so our sauce can thicken. Okay guys, so here's our finished product here and as you can see our sauce is thickened up. So only thing left to do is just to hit it with a couple of sprinkles of fresh parsley. And that's pretty much it guys. That's how you make Tuscan chicken. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and this video. If so, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and put on your post notifications so you know when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.